All right, we are live, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen who are viewing us uh, from the comfort of your home or car or wherever you're traveling at. My name is Lisa. I am part of the team here at Photo Day, and today's roundtable webinar is a little bit different. So thank you for joining us today, and thank you to our wonderful guests that decided to hop on here and do a webinar with me, so I am not alone. <laughs> by myself. What's up, Brian? Um, I oh. see him. What's up, Danny? <laughs> Hi, Brian. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. So general housekeeping, I will go over first. Um, if you guys that are viewing us uh, here today lose connection or sound at any time, there's a reconnect button at the top. You can reconnect or just refresh your screen to gain connection back. If one of us freezes or locks up, I'll hit the little emergency button and then we'll all come pop on back on in a couple minutes. I can usually see that if that's going down. But for now, um, just give us a shout out here in the chat. Make sure you can see us. us. Um, but we have an awesome panel of wonderful photographers here today. And we're going to go around the room and ask some questions. At the end, we will have a Q&A. So if you have specific questions that are spawned from any other questions that are happening, um, you can drop those in the Q&A section and we can get to those at the end. So yeah, we got Rocky, Angelo, hey Brian, hey Bruce, Donnie, got a bunch of people chiming in. So you know we got viewers. Oh, Katie, Michael, hey guys. All right, so I'm just gonna dive in and get started. I feel like we needed like some intro music or a theme song for this. <laughs> we didn't get that <laughs> right off the bat. But um, so I'm just gonna go over on a uh, room and get started and have each person introduce themselves. Danny, I will start with you since you were the first one here in the room when we got started. <laughs> so why don't you give us a lot, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from and what your favorite uh, specialty of photography is, so. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Danny of Danny Mac Photography, located in Long Island, New York. Uh, my favorite is sports photography. It's kind of like found me in a way. And so I've been doing it for less than a year, to be honest. And the, it just has been amazing. And my community has totally embraced me. And I've managed to just land an amazing opportunity with 96 team league and hence why i found photo day so <laughs> that's me i will pass it off to the next person awesome regina i'm gonna call on you next tell us a little bit about you and what your favorite style of photography is awesome i'm regina miller um i am a lifestyle family photographer so i love photographing families at home that's my favorite thing to do this is my first experience with volume photography. So I'm new to that. Um, and I live in the suburbs of Philadelphia, Ambler, Pennsylvania, it's called. Awesome. I am from right across the bridge of Walt Whitman Bridge in New Jersey. It's where I grew up. So. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. And uh, next up, I will bounce it over to Betsy. Hey, uh, my name's Betsy and I own and operate Betsy Lynn Photography. Um, sometimes I feel behind the curve. I've been here for, not with photo day, but doing photography for 18 years. And uh, about three or four years ago, I switched to really into volume photography. So I'd like to describe that as anywhere where there's a lot of people. <laughs> I do schools, teams, leagues, um, and all that. So I've just been with photo day about three months, I think, and just really enjoying it. So awesome. Thank you. And Shelly, tell us a little bit about you. Good morning. I'm Shelly Scarborough or afternoon, wherever you are. Um, hi, <laughs> I'm Shelly with Shelly Scarborough Photography and I specialize in volume or real estate or portraits. Um, and my favorite style is whatever I'm photographing that day. <laughs> I'm not picky. <laughs> <laughs> whatever is bringing in the money. So. It's not even that. I just love to have the camera in my hand. I want to be creative regardless of what style. So, but I am, I'm falling deeply, deeply in love with volume. That's awesome. Yeah. It's something about like showing up and, like on school picture day or these sports and all the kids are so excited and the families are excited and just, they're all having fun. And I love little baseball players early spring. I think they're my favorites. <laughs> they have my heart so for cute. sure. <laughs> yes. They're so cute. 
All right, so we're going to go around the room and talk about, like, just how you got started with Photo Day. Because I think a lot of people, like, when they first get started, like, are just hesitant or, you know, they just have a lot of questions and maybe you focus so much on the technical side of things. But, you know, this the point of this today was really trying to figure out, like, you know, what are, what is some helpful information we can give anyone else that's new or just getting started or anyone that's been here for a while that they may not have been thinking of or that they can relate to. It's just more of a community type feel supporting each other in this journey um, and everything that uh, goes along with that. So I guess initial thoughts like, you know, and this is a little bit of a test for us too, in a way, um, when I ask these questions. So I'll start with you again, Danny, circle back. But like, what were your initial thoughts like when you first signed up for photo day? Were you like anxious, nervous, scared, hesitant? Like, did you have any like, you know, what was your main concerns? Oh, all of the above. Let me just explain that. This has like been a roller coaster. So I've never done volume photography. I was shooting action like at games. And then I started doing like, like portraits and then I was approached by a league if I could handle it because they loved my work. So then it was just like, okay, you say yes, because when does this opportunity ever come your way? Usually people are seeking that. They like, you know, want to meet with the leagues. And so it was kind of one of these things that this was a chance of a lifetime. And so, I mean, if you're into sports photography, you definitely know Jay Boat, right? Right? I mean, hello. So, I mean, he's definitely part of the photo day. So that was, I didn't even really look at anything else. So it was kind of like, all right, I'm going with this because it has to be good. <laughs> And it was. So <laughs> and that's awesome. I just was like, hi, I need like a ton of help. If there was like photo day for dummies, hi, a total candidate. I mean like <laughs> step by step, hand holding. I was not ashamed of saying like I have no idea what you're talking about. And I have to say from the first onboarding call, I would think I met with Dan and then Daryl and then Brian. Brian. I know you're listening. Yeah. But like that man, he really gave me a lot of his time. And then you could ask like the bubbles and everybody from photo day, any question you want. So like you have a team without having to, I'm a one person, I'm one person. So for me, there is no team and yet you have a team. So for me, I was excited and nervous and all of those things. And anytime my emotions got like, that emotion I was excited I'm typing or like I'm, I'm I'm FaceTiming and if I was like okay I don't know if I could do this they're like calm down you got this so I just want to say you could have all of the emotions and they're, they're there for you so it was a great experience awesome. in that aspect thank you <laughs> you're welcome I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go and I talk with my hands so I apologize I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing my watch thinks I'm working out every time I do a webinar too so <laughs> like record outdoor walk I'm like no I'm doing a webinar so, um, I'm gonna flip to the next slide because I do have a contest before I get to you Regina I'm gonna go, come back to you next but uh, so we're running a little contest you win a prize at the end this is for all of you attending for you that are already here you don't get to participate in this but anyway, for anyone that's attending the question is what's a PD 100 we see this sometimes in the users group so shout it out in the chat room um, and whoever has the best, most creative answer to that, if you know what it is, make up something good because the marketing team is going to pick a winner to give <laughs> um, at the last part of this webinar. So as well, we're going through that. What is a PD 100? And I'm going to turn off my slides so I can make us all bigger and we're not so little um, in the process here. I think that makes it a little bit better. Uh, there we go. Danny could do airplane parking with his hand gestures. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can. Oh, awesome. Okay. So now that we did that, you guys are going ahead and answering that question for that contest. Uh, Regina, tell us about your like, you know, initial thoughts when you first got started with photo day. How did we do? <laughs> well, I'd like to echo everything that was just said, same feelings, um, but same experience too with like, I didn't even know what, what my questions were. Like the questions came up in real time. And I felt like if I didn't get an answer, I couldn't go on. And so being able to reach out to photo day and ask my question and get a response right away was so crucial. I felt like I was able to get it done, but just to back up a little bit though, I found out about photo day at imaging USA back in Nashville in back in January. Um, and I was so drawn to the facial recognition technology that blew me away. Um, it made me feel like volume photography could be possible. Um, because of that. So, uh, 
just kind of going back, that's how I heard about it. And then I met with, I had a call with Stevie. She is incredible. She made me feel so much calmer about the whole process. And like I was saying, just being able to like think of a question and then ask it and then get an answer right away and then move on with my day was just incredible. Um, so I'm thrilled so far. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to bounce it over to you, Betsy. What were okay. your first initial thoughts? I have a lot of thoughts just hearing them. <laughs> I echo them. <laughs> I, um, when I started into volume photography, I didn't realize like all those, you know, big groups of kids had even bigger groups of parents <laughs> and administrators. So I had just started, this is my second year doing schools and I'm, I was looking for something easy. I did have an e-commerce and I'm not sure if that's, this is what this is called, but I had an online system in place and was just struggling with it in a sense. So I was at the SYNC conference and a couple of friends, Stella Price and Kimberly Malo, and just really, they were just like, just do it, just do it, just do it. And I was afraid switching in the middle of a year because it was not this, this way in the fall. So um, so I did it, I listened. And and to be honest, I was jealous at a conference when their phones were going off, cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. I, <laughs> I want a cha-ching. <laughs> So, um, so I did, I jumped in and probably, um, just a couple weeks after coming on board, um, I started in with the schools and the chat box is a lifesaver, the little orange circle. I can't tell you how many times I'm just so dependent and needy on that because I really didn't have time to build it and then take off. I was already in the air. And so I had to just jump on board and go with it. And it's been it's been, I mean, I do have, I've jotted down a few statistics, just how different uh, the sales has been since joining Photo Day. So it's been really good. That's awesome. Yes. Interested to hear about that more towards a uh, little bit later here, but yes, thank you. All right, Shelly, what were your initial thoughts when you signed up? You had a lot going on too, right? Always. Um, so I went to the Boatwright Bootcamp in December and I was already using a different ordering software company and platform. And there was no pressure by any means to do photo day, but it was, everybody was talking about it and I was struggling um, every single day with my previous company. Mm -hmm. And it, it seemed like a no brainer. I, I live in an area where the schools require us to keep everything super private and they won't share email addresses with us. And photo day makes it really easy to um, get the information out there. And um, I, I mean, I'm going to give a shout out to my girl, Stevie, like <laughs> girl is my family. <laughs> she's she, like, honestly, she calls me up. She's like, how are the kids? And I'm like, I'm good. They're good. We're, you know, all the things, but um it it feels like home at photo day and that's really all that you need to know people care people want to see you succeed and then you guys make it so easy to give you ideas and you implement them i i can't say enough good stuff it it just clicks it's great oh thank you yeah i feel like sometimes we uh we get so many ideas, like we can't go fast enough. It's our own problem that we generated. Like we're like, we're trying, we're trying. <laughs> so there's a lot of fun stuff coming though, all thanks to you guys. All right, so we're gonna circle back around. Um, and I think this is a question that a lot of people struggle with at first. Uh, maybe not so much you, Danny, since the like, question is when I say this, is like how, how did you decide on which job to try first? And I think you got the job and needed to find a solution to try, right? That's yeah. basically what I, happened. I said yes, and then I figured it out, <laughs> right? <laughs> so. like you have to have some faith in yourself, like you got this. Otherwise, like, you know, if you don't believe in yourself, who's going to? So I said, yeah, no problem. And then I was like, okay, where am I going? And photo day was the first like answer and it was amazing. So yeah, and then I thought when I saw that question like how do you figure between public or private galleries maybe we could dive yeah. into that because for me it was the private galleries because of the number of kids that we were shooting and um you know the privacy factor and that's been amazing i thought it was going to be a nightmare i was like i'm definitely doing public i don't care what they it seems easier <laughs> one code and it was a breeze with the private gallery. So like, that was just like another thing that I was like, I don't know anything about this. How am I going to do this? And it's done for you. So 
it was great. So yeah, how was your? Um, people always want to know that too. Like your first time using the Capture app, like on site. Like what was what did that workflow look like? How did you get through that? Amazing. Honestly, I have to say that one of the compliments, aside from like everything else from the parents, was how smooth my actual picture day was we were so on target with time and I mean I, I thanks to the people who I have a really good family <laughs> recruited them to help so I had people in the front of the house using the capture app and then they were sending them back there it was so smooth the face finding was amazing that app was heaven sent so no complaints at all it worked Flawlessly, I got a separate iPad for it, but an iPad stand, had them stand against a blank background because I didn't want them capturing anything. I was like, you know, I was reading, I was on every webinar that you guys had. I was like, oh, it might catch somebody else in the background. I'm like, no problem, eliminated. Let's just do this. And it was flawless, flawless. That's awesome. That's so good to hear. Um, all right, uh, Regina, how did you pick your first job with Photo Day? Oh, you're muted. I'm mute. Sorry, my dog was barking, so I muted it. So um, my first official job was my kids' preschool. Um, but to test it out first, I did a portrait pop-up in my town with about 15 people. Um, and just to kind of wanted to test it out. And it was so easy. It was great. I did the capture. And I'm just happy that I tried it first because I did learn a lot. Like, it was just good for me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So it just made me feel better going into the preschool shoot. Um, but then, yeah, the preschool shoot was about 80 kids and it was great. Um, I just, you just have to kind of go for it. Um, and then photo day is there to help you as things come up, I've found. Us. Yes, that's our mission. <laughs> so for sure. <laughs> Um, Betsy, so you come from a lot of years of experience doing the volume. Like, how did you pick your first job to transition over, and how did your customers perceive it? Well, it picked me, and I literally built the job the night before. Like, it was just all within the same week. And um, I, looking back now, I think, oh, but it wasn't from my end, the backside. I think, oh, I could have handled that so much better. But it was flawless for them, and it was a father daughter dance, and it was just what was next on board, and. Uh, they used to face find and they think I'm a magician. So that's really nice. Um, <laughs> I showed up in my feedback uh, that I just now figured out how to find and read. Um, so, so they really liked that. But um, even in the ways that I stumbled with setting it up, just based on, you know, I kind of had to unlearn an old way in order to learn a new way. And they're really similar, but it's just been easier than I anticipated with, with how to run it. And, you know, oh, that's all I have to do. So really the hardest part for my first job was just resetting up my price list. So that was comforting. Yeah. Yeah. Change, change can be really overwhelming at first, yeah. I think. Yeah. Like that's, that's one of the big reasons I wanted to do this uh, webinar today, too, is just, like, you know, how do you get through that, that change? So uh, Shelly, how did you how did you choose the first job? How did it go? What were what did the parents say? Um, so like others have said, it chose me. I, there was no question I had to use. I needed to use it for the specific job. I was traveling um, all over the state for a couple of weeks, photographing all the kids in the league. Um, and I needed to do the private gallery. Um, so the face find was super important. Um, I think maybe a week before the job, I connected with Stevie and I'm like, girl, I, I got it. We got to go. We got to do this. <laughs> and she's like, I got you. <laughs> and I think honestly, just don't overthink it because photo day will have it for you that you guys are right there behind us, supporting us, making sure it all goes right. So she was amazing. Photo day was amazing. I just never feel like I'm going to do it wrong because of you guys. So thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Yeah. I always say like, you know, you guys have watched my webinars and it's like one of the things I'm like, if you just take really great photos and get people to connect to the gallery, it doesn't matter what happens. We can fix it. Like if something goes wrong, like we can fix it and we can recover as long as you do those two things. So exactly. if you, if you don't take any photos of the person. I can't help you because there's <laughs> nothing to tell them. So, um, but yeah, it's, um, there's definitely the important, important things is take great photos, connect to the gal, connect people to the gallery. The rest is simple. Like we, we will have your back every step of the way. So 
Um, it kind of started talking about this a little bit, but I think for, you know, with, with so many like different technologies out there, different onboarding experiences with different processes that are out there, I really kind of wanted to dive in on your experiences. What, what was your personal experience like onboarding with photo day? Like, how'd you feel about it? Like, you know, did you do a, a Google meet screen share? Did you just walk through on the phone? Did you self onboard? And how was that experience for you? And I will start with you, Danny, circle back around. So I know that I mentioned it already, but I did have a couple of onboarding calls. And that was like one of the things that I I felt really bad about personally, but really good about with photo day because they made me feel like it was totally okay. I felt like I was consuming too much time and it was almost like what it was welcomed in a way like, no, because your success is going to be our success and we're a team in this process. So when I say like before I needed a step by step and it needed to start from like scratch with me because I had no prior, which I guess in a way it's good because I didn't have to unlearn something, but I needed to learn a whole new direction of things. So I I said I started I, with Dan, then Daryl and they and they led me to Brian and I think I took up a lot of Brian's time. So we did the Google Meet, <laughs> screen share, record, email it to me. I need to rewatch it again. Then we set up another Google Meet and I'm like, I'm sorry, I just need to go over this one more time. And it wasn't like, oh my goodness, like it was no problem. Let's go through this again. So, and lots of tips, not just photo day related, which I just want to share on here. Like if you're in volume photography, this is going to be your first job or your thousand job, whatever it is. As photographers, we all have something we can help each other with. So you're not just talking to somebody who's like part of photo day and doesn't have the experience and have been where you are. And so there's other different tools of the trade that were exchanged during that meeting that were helpful. And in my opinion, didn't need to be said, right? We could just focus on the task at hand, but if they're going to help you with your business at the end, it helps everyone. To me, I was so grateful for that little bit of information. And it just makes you want to then do that for the next person. So you realize you're part of a community that's like, really helpful at least my experience i have yet to run across somebody that's like oh the competition it's more of like you do something like that's amazing here let me help you so my onboarding experience was really great like that and i learned some amazing tricks to the trade so i can't speak highly enough about it brian thank you so much dan and daryl for leading me there and all the people in the bubble i mean you have like a team like it's amazing so thank you <laughs> You are welcome. Um, thanks for that. I'm sure all of the all of Stan's they're they're in Jersey. Yeah, <laughs> Brian. I'm not. I'm not Jersey. Everybody thinks I'm Jersey. I'm Long Island. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's because it's you're here. That vibe. Right? I know. I'm sorry. I apologize oh, already. Um, so, uh, Regina, um, what about your onboarding experience? How did that go? What, what path did you choose and, and what was your, uh, you know, was, how, how did it all roll out? It was wonderful. So being a solo entrepreneur, it can feel so lonely and like overwhelming because every single decision you have to figure, like, you have to make the decision, every single issue, you have to figure it out yourself. But, you know, with photo day, I felt like I was like working with a company again and it felt fun to be like a part of a team. And so I, I, Stevie helped me so much with my pricing. She just basically did it. You know, she, I like answered a few questions and she like did it for me and it has been so successful with the preschool portrait shoot. It was awesome. Um, so it's been wonderful. Every single issue that I have, like a question that I think of, I get an answer. And sometimes I feel bad because like I'll, type a question to someone specifically and then like they don't get right back to me which like because they're helping someone else you know or like doing something and so then I'll like type another question to like the general one and then they get back to me and then I'm like okay wait I I'm getting an answer from someone else but thank you like it's just everyone's so helpful has anyone else done that I feel bad like like I'm <laughs> Um, there's just been a couple times where it's like, it was time sensitive. Like I had to like, you know, deal with something quickly, but just the ongoing process has been incredible. And I've just been so happy with that. It, it makes me feel like I'm like less alone in my business. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. That's great. Um, thank you. <laughs> I read the comments as it comes in. It makes me feel so happy. 
<laughs> so as you guys are talking. Um, Betsy, what about your onboarding experience? How did that go? Yeah, so it was um, in true Betsy fashion. It was fast and furious and I needed to do it yesterday, the day that I did it. Um, so it was with Austin and he was so great. And I kind of know how you feel. Like I wanted to always ask Austin every question after that. Cause I felt like we um, just hit it off and he was very thorough in helping me get set up quickly. Um, but really anytime I get on the orange bubble, that's what I call it. I, it everyone's well equipped to answer anything. And that's been really helpful um, because I think all of us are in the same boat. We need it yesterday. And if we're asking the question, it's because someone else is waiting for us to answer them, you know? So um, it's, it's just really helpful that it's all so thorough. Um, there's not just one resource we can go to. And even better than that, um, in my personal mail, I got a card maybe uh, three or four weeks ago from Austin that said, Hey, we see you. You're, you're knocking it out of the park. You're doing great. And that was the most rewarding thing, like outside of sales, because, you know, we're all these lone survivors. We're all just in our own bubble, working hard and sometimes feeling like no one sees us. And just to get that little handwritten note, I felt very like, Oh, thanks. You know, like you see me. So that was really, really encouraging. And one thing to Danny, you guys can probably tell I have my own accent. Uh, I'm from Eastern Kentucky, like I said, and they have a saying around here, protect the accent, don't lose it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Um, Shelly, can you share uh, your onboarding experience? <laughs> um, my onboarding experience was very similar to Betsy's. It was, I needed to do it and it was needed to be done yesterday and it was quick and easy. Like um, Regina said, Stevie basically created my pricing sheets for me. She just kind of set everything up and I hopped in and I'm like, okay, what next? And it's just one thing after another. And, and you learn by doing it. At least that's how I learn. Um, and so going through it step-by-step step, got it done. And I have questions every day <laughs> and everybody's yeah. always there to answer them and it makes complete sense i'm just one of those that it's going to take me once or twice and nobody makes me feel bad about it <laughs> yeah 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 i will touch on the pricing thing for a minute since you guys brought that up um you know it's it's a crazy how hard stevie and austin they worked so hard on like reviewing data and looking at successful studios and looking at like what they may or may not be missing. And then especially with like transitioning off the paper forms or from another, you know, non image for selling environment, like what should you be selling things for? How should packages look if we're not on a, a paper form type environment? And I just feel like so many of us struggle with that. And, you know, there, there's not really a magic, like, you know, show up and just copy somebody else's store. Cause it really, depends on like your quality images. How many images are you shooting? Like what, you know, what market is this? Is it preschool? Is it sports? You know, what, what area are you in? Like, and then what are your customers used to? Like, what were you doing prior? And I think that, um, you know, I'll give a shout out to Stevie and Austin because they have done an enormous amount of work to really do their best to make sure they cover because they understand the business aspect and that you guys all need to make money and you have other expenses, not just photo day expenses to cover. So they really look at all of those things to really suggest the best pricing. So for anyone watching, we do support that and we love helping you with that because then you get all those PD 100s. <laughs> for totally. sure. Hopefully. Yes. Yeah. Am I still, can you hear me? You can yeah. hear me. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, she, she was like, shoot over your price sheet for um, your previous company and I'll look at it and cross compare and, and do all the things. So at least she, she had a really good idea of what was going on here in my area. And I was successful there as well. But um, it, so that it was nice that she just didn't go, we'll use this. It was thoughtful and curated. And that was really important to me. So thank you, Stevie. <laughs> Yeah, I'm yes, going to just hop on because I didn't know, uh, like, the price sheet, obviously, I did it on my own because the pre the previous photographer, my company that wanted, my lead that wanted me, wanted me to stay fairly within the same prices. So I was like, okay, I got this. I have something I could base myself off of. But then I think it was on either Facebook or one of the groups that you guys have that support, like, amazing. And 
they wrote that you could just submit your price sheets for a price sheet review. My mind was blown. I'm like, oh, hey, I'm going to do this. So aside from somebody like helping you build your price sheet, if you build your own and you aren't sure before you go live with your gallery, I would say ask for that price sheet review, have them look it over, and then they'll give you the feedback that you want. So once again, you're never alone. And that was something I didn't know. Maybe I didn't look for it. I, I had a million things going on. And the second I saw that, I was like, amazing. Like, let me do that. So, and I just wrote in the bubble. They were like, be back in a second. They looked it over. I mean, <laughs> it was feedback. You know what I mean? From like, this looks great. You might want to add this. To I was like, okay, no problem. And then I was like, I don't really know where to go. And it was step by step by step. So just a little thing that I didn't know about that I think that if you're new to it, you could literally type in that bubble can I have a price sheet review? And they will review it for you and give you exactly what you need so that you're successful. Well, I'll let you keep uh, continuing that thought because we are all, and I'm curious to hear this, and I, I did not cheat and look in advance on any of your results. So I really wanted to just wait for this round table and hear about them firsthand. Like, what have your results been, like sales-wise participation and customer feedback-wise? Like, you know, I think I see a lot too in our users group when people publish for the first time and they get incoming customer support and it's, you know, weighs heavy on us, especially when we're in the middle of doing 50,000 things like, and you're like, oh, I gotta answer this email or whatever, you know, really looking forward to sharing, like what are, what are those things that they can expect to hear when you first publish? And then, and then what are, what were your sales results? Like, you know, how did you feel about them? And I'll start so, with you, Danny, again, since you were already uh, going. <laughs> uh, sales, sales has been very good. I, I want to say, like, for me, I have nothing to compare it to. So I really didn't know when it, it starts kicking in and when the flow keeps happening. I didn't realize, like, I didn't really promote when the when, it, when the, my gallery was going to expire. And I was like, okay, maybe I should put this expiration. And I didn't really know when those automated things were going out to people. So for me, it was like, oh, something must have went out today because today we're hitting. I was just checking, just checking, just checking. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, okay. And then there was other days where it was like a little bit quiet. And then I would just sit there and maybe put a little promotion. For me personally, I started my own Facebook page and had them join it so that I could have little um, videos to help them or like some promotional things like, hey guys, three days left. And just to engage my audience that for me worked. And um, to me, whatever photo day is doing behind the scenes is super, super helpful. And they send out the information. So for me, sales have been really great. Like I said, I don't really have anything to compare it to, but I'm happy with the way that it's been. I have people emailing me all the time. Can you keep it up a little bit longer? Like my gallery, but at some point I'd like to close it down um, just because I think it's time and then reopen it and hey, yeah. it's back. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm learning. You guys I always, me help me I always suggest, I always suggest, I always suggest expiring it and just like, yes, you're expiring the gallery, but you're expiring your best prices, right? Those, those early burn package saving prices expire those when you expire the gallery, when you relaunch, maybe just duplicate the form, get rid of the money saving packages or, you know, it's a la carte only, or just up your pricing. You could do a couple different scenarios. So you're not really expiring the images forever. You're just expiring your your entry level, like first batch of prices. Mm -hmm. So always helpful. that way you can say, Thank you. yes. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. And just like another tidbit that I did that I know the photo day has like the step-by-step -step guide on how to order, but I did it a screen, I screen shared, like, well, not screen share, screen recorded me getting the text message, clicking the link, going through and how to change the photos. And I refer back to that video a lot of times. Like I, it just was so helpful for my parents to just be like, Hey, I, I posted a video on how to order. So it's just, to me, it was a helpful tool instead of repeating yourself time after time, just to like refer them to this video that you made of, of your gallery. Yes. Yes, for sure. Thank you. Um, so Regina, what were your initial results and, you know, any support questions you'd want to point out? Yeah, initially. So it's, it's, it hasn't even been a month officially since my first job has been posted and I've learned that you kind of have to give it a whole month. Um, so it's, but I'm happy. I'm happy with the sales. It, it was, I, it was a preschool shoot um, and I got about $3,000. So, I mean, to be there for 
two mornings in a row and, you know, for like a couple hours, that's fabulous for me. So I'm actually looking just today. I went to um, I actually visited eight schools this morning um, and just dropped off my card, um, introduced myself to some directors. I did a the Krista Miller. Krista Miller had a um, like a round table where um, we just talked about preschool photography ideas and we met once a week for um, a few weeks in a row and it was fabulous. So that's where I got that idea and just hoping to find some more schools. Um, so just wonderful. And, and so for the gallery, I was like sweating before publishing. Um, anybody else? I was just like, I don't know if this is right. You see that all the time. Yeah, I'm like sitting here at home all by myself sweating. Um, so I think I had reached out somebody in the bubble and was just like, okay, can you just look at it one more time? Make sure it's okay. Like, I don't want anyone to be mad at me. Like, I think I'm about to publish this. And I don't think it was then, but it was like a couple, maybe like a week later. I, w I had some sales, but it was like, not a lot. And I'm like, what is going on? Like I can see in the insights that people are looking at the images, I think, but like, I'm not getting that many sales. Someone figured out that so the CSV that I had uploaded, there were like semicolons and you cannot do semicolons. Okay. They're not, they don't work well. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then also the preschool director had given me, you know, the list of all the emails. And I guess for like the moms, she put like a parenthesis M after that email. And then for the dads, she did like parentheses D. And so that screwed me up so much. So I went in, I deleted all of that. And then someone showed me how to send off the marketing flyer where their child's picture shows up in the email. And then I had so many sales that after that afternoon. So I don't know. It, it just, you just have to kind of keep trying, keep going. And then, yeah, meet with pe these wonderful people in the bubble. <laughs> yeah. So, so that, that's your, that's your takeaway lesson learned. If you're importing data, make sure it's all clean and there first. <laughs> before you get started. That's definitely something to learn. I think it's like one of those oopsies. I do so many demos and I go through it over and over again. And sometimes I'll just miss a step and I'll have to go back to it again. It's like, cause there's so much going on all at once, but, but yeah, easy to fix when you figure out what happened for sure. For sure. So, uh, Betsy, what, um, what were your initial results? I mean, with, yeah, how did it go? Okay. So initial results were good, but like I said, it was a little bit of a tangle because, um, doing schools, I went into spring photo season and I had all the info for the previous, uh, server from the last season. Um, so really I didn't have all the, I didn't have all the, the blanks filled in a sense. So that was a little frustrating, nothing on photo day's part, but the good, good news from that is, how easy it is on the app just to go find their code and to export those codes, clean that list up enough so that I could send that then to the administrators or the individual teachers, because in a private gallery, you can't just publicize codes, you know, that's not okay. But um, so I could still give them the information and there was probably 50% of the parents that got the automated email. And then there was the ones that were like, Hey, I didn't get an email. So that was, it helped to, that I had a solution for them so I could help be a problem solver instead of, the problem like yeah let me help take care of you so the app played a big role in that and then just sales wise um i was looking up I, I need to write some commission checks for my school so i was looking at sales and i wanted to look at last year because spring is not typically um your highest sales when you do two times a year and i can tell you two schools doubled their spring sales Ooh. so yeah i was like okay this is wow great. right like and I don't, I don't know if it's the face fine, but uh, my community, the, where my schools are at, um, we're very small. Um, and I think everyone's spending their time on bleachers or in gymnasiums and they're just pulling it up on their phone and they're able to use the face fine and they don't feel like it's such an ordeal to order. I think that might be helpful um, in getting that the sales up, just the capture app itself and being able to find them easily. So. Yeah, that's awesome. So did you, so when you could, when you say the sales have doubled, um, was your previous method, is it, were you selling multiple images or is that the, is that a big difference or what do you think the big difference um, is? It's the same model of photography. Like I kind of do like, I call them personality portraits, not like the, like I try to get expression and I'm doing elementary school. So no bigger kids. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was the same. I think we got rid of QR cards 
And that was just a really big helpful thing for me. Even on the back end, it cut out a lot of work for me. And I did, uh, one of my friends who's a photo editor user also says that they, they generate a QR code and they'll post it at the site. So there's still that, it was a little bit of familiarity for my customers because they were used to looking at a QR code. Um, yeah. And it would take them straight to the photo day gallery site um, if they didn't opt in with the text code. So I felt like there was a, a few ways for them to get to Rome. You know what I mean? Like not just yeah. one way. Um, so I think that was helpful, but it was the same style of photography. Like I said, I'm really, I'm not exactly sure what, what the potion was, but I have, uh, what's it called on the side the MPS? Like I've gotten some yeah. feedback there that, um, I wasn't even aware of initially when I got it. And when I logged on, I was like, Oh, they like it. This is good. Like a few of them left some comments. So, um, just nice to hear firsthand the, the a few parents that took the time to say something about it. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Shelly, what about your experience with sales and customer support? This is different for us. The, the QR codes is where we used to live. Opting in via um, text message is it's newer for everyone here. <laughs> and it's a <laughs> lot of education. Mm -hmm. um, again, not being able to communicate with my schools because they won't let me have email addresses and relying on the schools to communicate on my behalf um, is a challenge. And that's new, newer this year. I mean, they've been doing it this way, but we found workarounds, I guess. Yeah. Um, so my sales are still great and I, my business continues to grow and the word of mouth is strong. Um, so I don't know that sales are necessarily an accurate representation of my success with photo day. Mm -hmm. um, everybody loves the process. Everybody loves being able to order um, and mix and match their packages with all the different images that we take. Um, and, and the user interface is super easy. It's just like, I've, I think I've switched ordering situations three times in the past four years from paper order forms to someone else. And then now we're home. <laughs> yeah. So it's just an education process for everybody and they're good. They're, they're good, but <laughs> yeah, they're the, well, they can only get better, right? The more they learn exactly. and yeah. once you get through this hard part, I think I've, I've heard Stella say that a lot. Like she's like, you know, once, once your parents are trained, then it's all easier than they start training each other. And I've, I've witnessed it firsthand. We did, a, um, I was at an, well, I can say like, you guys get nervous when you publish your first gallery. When we published the first photo day jobs, like we were like, is this going to work? Like are people actually, <laughs> like when we were doing that first stuff, like they were beta jobs. I was like, oh my gosh, if this doesn't work. I owe this photographer like three grand. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that's basically what I kept thinking to myself. And then when it started working and we, we were like, I can't even tell you the words that we were screaming. We we're celebrating. We're like, it actually works. <laughs> so it was, and it seems like it was, uh, it was, seems like it just happened yesterday. Like to me, it's just like the time has flown by. Um, but you know, after people start getting used to the process and it's almost like you're changing the consumer's expectation. Like if somebody comes in behind you and wants to, you know, try to pitch like paper forms and they're like, well, you, what do you mean? We're not going to get to see the images first. We won't get a variety of images right. to pick from. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, how could you ever go back once you have that expectation as a consumer? Like mm -hmm. when it's all coming directly to you and you have options and you can buy at your own convenience. So, and I think totally. once they start to, absorb that change and really um like understand the benefits like there's no going back at that point so you've mission accomplished and and it's easy when when you get somebody who calls you and says i don't understand what's going on what do i have to do it to text what to what and i'm like it just text it and they're like oh yeah and i'm like yeah it's exactly right <laughs> yeah. so i don't know why people are afraid of change but it's yeah, this is the this is the future. So, yeah, just got to do it. All right, so we'll leave with one uh, final question before we go into any Q and A that anyone might have today. But um, just 
your advice for anyone that's tuning in today that hasn't tried it yet, that might be hesitant or that has tried it or getting ready to try it, um, what would be the one advice you'd leave them with? One point, Danny. Just do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nike, Nike that. Just, just do it. There's no reason not to. I feel like if you stay this long for this part of this webinar, then I think it speaks for itself that you're going to have a whole team of support. So there's no reason why you wouldn't do it. That's my advice. Like, you have to just dive right in. And you're not alone. So to me, that's it. And I'll agree with that. Um, and also... Um, I will say that don't be afraid to pick up the phone and call a customer if they have a question too. So um, I'm not used to this. I'm used to very personal experiences with my lifestyle photography business where it's like all based on relationships and like no one is ever unhappy with me at the end. Everyone's happy. <laughs> um, but with this, I've had two um two parent, two, e two nasty emails, I'll call them. Um, and so the first one was that um, they were very angry because I didn't photograph their child because their child was absent. So you know, <laughs> I can't photograph you if you're not there. I'm sorry. You know, I got that too. Yeah. yeah. Um, just like really angry. So, but I called, I called them. Um, and I think like having a conversation over the phone, people are totally different when you're talking to them in real life. Um, so I think that made a difference, even for me personally, because I care so much and I, I want everyone to be happy. And so I was just like, oh my goodness, like your child wasn't there, you know? So, and then the other thing was like, based on communication kind of, because like I'm a parent too, I get it. Like there's a barrage of emails. Like I, I don't know what's going on. Like there's so much information. And so it was just something that like, wasn't, they did, they never really like read what they, they just didn't read the emails and I've been there, you know? Um, so no judgment, but just being able to like talk to them on the phone. So that's my thing that I rec recommend to people. If like you get a really nasty email, if you can, you could just like actually talk to them. And then I think like, if anything, it'll make you feel better. It made me feel better. The, the person that I, that, who was confused and just needed like a little bit more help with communication, she ended up spending $165 after we talked. So you know, and I felt better personally, you know, because like I said, I care and I just want everyone to be happy. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. I feel exactly the same way. So like I just want everyone to be happy and have a good experience. So um, awesome. So let's see what's your advice. I would say, you know, what the rest of us would say, just do it. But I think uh, different personalities have different approaches. And my I'm just like jump first and you'll figure out how to swim. And I think that that's possible with Bo today. Just jump and they'll help you learn how to swim because whether, whether you're someone who likes to have their ducks in a row and then take off or you're like me and you're never going to be that person. I'm never going to be that person, but it's okay because you, you can still, you can still manage. You'll still get the hang of it. And, and even in just like being in women webinars like this, I'm realizing I'm not the only one like this. And, and everyone there at Photo Day realizes, I mean, we're all probably asking the same questions and relying on them in the same way. So we're not the lone people out there that like the only one that doesn't know how to do it, you know, or that is having these questions. So I would just really encourage you to um, try it. I mean, what's, what's worse than trying is not trying. Uh, that's the worst thing. So just try. Yes. Yes, for sure. Oh, Brian, that's what I did. And then he just bugged me for months. Brian did. He came, he, he came to every single webinar. Like he would come on and he would change his name every single time to try to like fool me that it was somebody else to see if I could guess if it was him. And then, uh, yeah, you guys probably heard me tell the story about how Brian ended up working at Photo Day, but yeah, he was a user first. And then I'm like, you're supporting everyone and helping everyone. Why don't you come work with us? So, and now he's here. So, um, Shelly, what is uh, your advice that you'd like to share? I mean, it's the same as these ladies, right? Same, 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 same. Don't overthink it. It's easy. It's user-friendly um, and you've got a team behind you. So there's no reason that you can't do this specifically photo day on like just jump other others. I'm not so sure you can do it by yourself. This one you can. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's all. 
good to know. I will not keep you guys that much longer here. I just wanted to, if you guys have any, um, anyone tuning in today, have any specific questions for any of these wonderful ladies today, um, feel free to holler out those into chat. I know some of you guys have asked some support related questions and our team here has jumped in. I will take a minute and I want to recognize um, Hannah, our director of customer success, she joined, joined our team here in August and like finding the right person for that position was like, it felt like it used to be just me. I used to talk to every single new user that signed up for photo day the support person, the only salesperson, the only marketing person when we first started. And as we got bigger, you know, like and more team members and CB and Alexa joined and then Hannah joined Reagan and Lana, everybody started joining and it was like, you know, it was, it was hard for me, like in any kind of business expansion to really trust that other people will give the same level of support and attention that you believe in. Right. And like, I will just say this, like, I feel so amazingly lucky to have such a wonderful CS team like with us and Hannah leads that team and she just does such an amazing job. Um, so like the response time to the resources that everybody has and just empowering each team member to kind of share their thoughts, their vision, like how we can help our users better. I mean, it's just like a pretty much a team effort. And I just think that's awesome. So kudos, Hannah. You've got wonderful responses here today <laughs> and the rest of you as well. Um, they're just all amazing. So we have some upcoming summer events I'll just share here. So if anybody... Um, is coming to these events, or if you're looking at a summer event to go, we're kind of all in the way, like a little bubbling here. I was going to try to move us. Um, so you guys can take a, anyone viewing can do a screenshot here. I'll like move us to the top. There we go. I moved us. So uh, we have Boat Right Boot Camp. We'll be at uh, the Do a Different Workshop with Rose at, uh, Coleman and Emily Davis, um, the School Photographers of America in South Carolina, um, and then the Incredible You that's put on by Kane and Lauren, two of our trailblazers um, in Charlotte, North Carolina, and then the Pas de Deux Dance. That's a dance uh, photography conference coming up in Chicago, but you guys can catch us on the road at any of those events. Um, yeah, there's that orange bubble you guys love for sure. <laughs> so, but yes, I will let you get back to it. Um, let's see if we have anybody in the chat here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got some meetings coming up here too, or some questions coming up too here. Uh, for those of you who do sports, do you set up a meeting with a team mom to explain the ordering process to cut down on repeating the same thing over and over again to parents? Did anyone set up a meeting with team mom, fill her in, help filter? No. I can yeah. just speak on that really quick. Um, I usually include that on the bid. Like if they're a new client, I mean, old clients, they pretty much already know that we're doing online sales now, but I just um, advocate for that with the bid. And I'll just put, uh, we have a new system of ordering. It's going to cut down on any, any need for any of your staff or your coaches or your administrators to help super effortless. You're going to love it. No need to stress about it. All the information will be there on ordering day or on shoot day. And then you just have your pro appropriate signage. So I guess I just don't want to instigate questions that they don't know that they have yet and just promote confidence that we've got this under control. And then we have someone there like on shoot day to say, hey, guys, did you take this number? Did you opt in yet? Like just to kind of encourage that process. So I think that's I don't want to encourage them to think, oh, do I have to learn something that would. Make yeah. Sense. Yeah. Don't too much information up front yeah. could be a bad thing. Like I, I kind of like to say that to you, like. You know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of learning here. But if you, if you get stressed out about it, like sometimes you can pass that stress on to your customer unintentionally. So yeah, let the process guide you, mm -hmm. use the support chat bubble, things like that um, really, really kind of help offset that beginning. Um, oh, before I forget too, because a wonderful marketing team just reminded me, thank you. Um, the winner of our drawing here is Diane Mueller. So she's the winner for the PD100 gift card. So yay, Diane, you won. So we will reach out to you um, to give you that gift card. Um, let's see. Oh, questions. Robert uh, has a question. Has anyone used a yearbook to upload reference photos with the iPhone app? 
Um, I can say that I have seen people use uh, the admin uh, photos from like service items, like previous like fall under class photos to create the new gallery and use those yearbook images for reference photos plenty of times. Yes, I see that all the day out. Um, and then Angela says, I would like to offer panorama prints and the labs offering them, but I'm worried about people not ordering them correctly. Um, they'll order an image as an eight by 10 or order a regular print on a 12 by 36 print. Do we see something like this ever coming? Um, Angelo, the question or the answer to your question is yes, we hear you loud and clear on that issue. Um, I think our first step, and I'll just say the teaser at the end here. Um, the first step was basically overhauling our entire galleries experience. We did release, um, a little teaser a few months back um, for Galleries 4, but stay tuned in the coming weeks. You guys will hear more and more about that. But the first step was overhauling a brand new um, shopping experience for the customer. So that is coming this summer, and you will start seeing information about that right now. It's in beta right now with a group of studios, and the feedback has been absolutely amazing so far so there's a lot of new things coming we're not done we're not even like halfway done so <laughs> you guys that have been around a while will see lots of new things coming soon and for you new ones you'll just get spoiled from all the releases we do so <laughs> enjoy it as we go so but yeah so thanks guys um if there's oh yes and kinsey yes terrence kinsey yes God, we're such a great team morgan's new this season too she's amazing and sam as well we have like such a great team so we might see some new faces even going in the fall so got to keep that uh bubble going strong for sure but yes thank you ladies <laughs> Thanks for everything and taking your time. I think, uh, Danny, you're here on vacation in Florida, so I hope you have a wonderful vacation. <laughs> so, Thank you. <laughs> for sure, yes. And thanks, everyone, for tuning in today. And, yes, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks for this time. Again, we appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day to share with us. So, yes, for sure. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and week. Thank you. And free day weekend. Thank you all so much. <laughs> so, yeah, thank Cheers. You. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Bye.